guess what? Tracy Love 68 and I are working together again. Please go subscribe to her channel. She is awesome. Today, I am getting ready to do the Be Confident or Beware beauty tag. This is a new tag. This tag has not even been out there. Like, this tag is so new. We have came up with questions to where they're personal, and you guys have to be aware of the answers that we're going to have for these questions. They are 17 questions total, and we're going to answer them for you guys. And you guys got to be, be got to be beware of the tag because we're going to get personal with you guys. I am tagging a few specific people, and then I'm tagging all of you if you guys are wanting to do this tag. So, enough of rambling, and let's get started because we got a lot of questions to answer. All right, let's go ahead and get started. When did you get into makeup, and how old are you? When did I first get into makeup, and how old was I? I was at least 10 years old. I was in the fifth grade and my elementary friend named Stephanie, she and I actually got makeup out of our grandmas and aunts and whoever was old enough to wear makeup and we decided to bring it to school. And we actually like really wore makeup to school every day and everybody was like, Aren't y'all look too young to be wearing makeup? Like the people who hung around us. And it was like, yeah, but we would rock it anyways. But I did get in trouble. I can't admit, I did get in trouble until my grandmother one day, which had passed away. I miss her so, so much. She saw her makeup was missing. And she called my mom and she said, my makeup has been missing. Ask Deanna, where's the makeup? Because that's the only person that I know who's been in my beauty stuff. And I have to constantly tell her to get out. So, um, ask Deanna, where's my makeup? And I got caught red-handed. Ugh, not a great feeling. Question number two. What made you start wearing makeup? What made me start wearing makeup is that when I was young, I was actually in a fashion show. Before I was in the fashion show at my school, I was first lady in Paris, and I didn't really like a lot of makeup at all. I didn't like wearing makeup. So, my aunt and my mom and my grandmother put makeup on my face, and ever since that happened, I absolutely am obsessed with makeup. So, ever since then, I love experiencing with colors and things like that, and then in middle school, I just got really, 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 really into makeup to where I started out wearing my sixth grade year eyeshadow. The next it was eyeliner. The next it was just foundation. And then during high school years, it was like the whole night of yards. And that's before I got into YouTube. I didn't know a lot about makeup. And then when I started watching YouTube videos, I began to learn even more. Michelle Fall was the first person <laughs> that I start watching and she has taught me so much ever since then and just star seven and all that later 21 question number three how do you feel when you wear makeup I feel fantastic whenever I wear makeup I feel glammed up whenever I wear makeup I love to wear it and I feel like I am even prettier than ever because when I was younger I had like low self esteem and I had like a heart surgery and I just kept gaining weight and I really thought makeup made me even look prettier and made guys make me feel more prettier or guys just started looking at me even a different way when I wore makeup when I didn't have on makeup etc. I mean I had like low self esteem when I was younger so I would definitely do another story about that on my vlog channel. What is the makeup product that makes you feel beautiful and confident? The Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector actually makes me feel beautiful and confident because at the same time when I have the BB Cream on, which I have on now, it makes me look like I don't have on a lot of foundation and it feels extremely light. So when I wear this product, I have to say this gives the best coverage ever. And this product makes me feel beautiful and confident. Like, I gotta have my Maybelline BB Creams. I love them. 
Question number five is what product you cannot live without? Once again, my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I cannot live without this product because it's just perfect. It blurs imperfections, it enhances, brightens, and just skin tone, smoothens, hydrates, and it just is SPF 30 and it's definitely an oil free type of product. So, yeah, Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream is the product I cannot live without. Question number seven is what product you can live without? I can live without the e.l.f. mechanical eye pencil, not eye pencil, eyelash thingy. I can not live without this because I really don't use it every day. Only time when I really use it is like whenever I am getting ready for a really important event or somewhere I have to look very, very professionalized, if that makes sense. But I do go days without this product and I can live without it and um I use it whenever I use wear fall lashes false eyelashes but lately I don't wear false eyelashes that much so I can not live without this product question number seven what is your favorite skincare company my favorite skincare company would definitely be Clean and Clear. Clean and Clear is very affordable and I have to say Clean and Clear is definitely the greatest company ever and I just love Clean and Clear. They're like the best of the best. You guys don't know how affordable Clean and Clear is. It's not expensive. It's not where you have to go in a budget for. Clean and Clear is something that you see in the store, you grab it as soon as you see it type of product company. I love Clean and Clear and yeah, I gotta say, Clean and Clear is definitely great. And question number eight is Clean and Clear or Neutrogena. Clean and Clear because I have a lot of Neutrogena, excuse me, Clean and Clear products and I use this one daily. <laughs> this is the Clean and Clear Dual Actioning Moisturizer. I use this product daily because it treats and helps prevent pimples and also it definitely helps your face feel oil free and it makes your foundation glides on very very smoothly so yeah I have to say this product definitely works well for me question number nine is concealer or bronzer I would have to say concealer I use a lot of concealers I I'm not picky about the concealer that I use. I use like a lot of concealers and I definitely have to say concealer really gets my under eye circles to where I need it to be. So I have to say concealer is definitely the main product that I would definitely go for besides a bronzer and I would choose concealer over bronzer any time of the day. Question number 10 is do you feel confident without makeup? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Whenever I'm going out and I know people are so used to seeing me with makeup on, I feel less unconfident. So I have to have like makeup on everywhere I go. And also I love, like love makeup. So I don't feel confident with without makeup. I really don't. Like I'm so used to seeing myself with makeup on. So I don't feel confident at all without makeup. And question number 11 is, if you choose any makeup company and how and had won $500 worth of makeup with, okay, worth of makeup, which company and what type of makeup would you choose or use? I would say MAC. I really don't have, well, I really don't buy MAC that much. And I will say $500 worth. I will get all the MAC foundations and all the MAC products like for eyes and foundations and stuff because MAC is a high brand and very expensive. So I would say I would definitely get MAC. And if I had the chance to win a $500 gift card, and it would definitely be MAC because I love MAC and I would love to try MAC one day. So I will too. I will. I will. Question number 12 is LA Colors or ELF? ELF, but mainly I use both 
and I have to say I, I've been an elf lover since I got interested into makeup and started into makeup so elf has like been really a great brand to try out especially if you're a beginner and you really don't want to buy Mac because Mac will have you in a budget but um elf is really a brand that I would definitely recommend I wear LA colors but I love elf question number 12 is excuse me 13 is Urban Decay or Mac Mac I love Mac I love everything about Mac but I don't own any products I only own one product and that would be the Urban Decay Naked palette the first edition but I would say Mac I would like to try Mac one day so yeah question number 14 is BH Cosmetics or Coastal Scents I've been always wanting to buy something from BH, but I love Coastal Scents. So I have to say Coastal Scents. Elf Eyelid Primer or Urban Decay Eyelid Primer. And this will be question number 14. And I will say, um, Urban Decay because Elf Eyelid Primer really doesn't last long. Like, it doesn't really stay all day. And I would have to say, um, Urban Decay. Really, I have to say it. Okay, 15 is Clinique or Lancome. I would say neither because I never really tried their products before. So, yeah. And question number 16. Excuse me, there are 16 questions. Not 17. Silly of me. 16 questions is... The 16th question is, um, if you had to look for, look good for a date, but couldn't only use three products to do so, what would they be? Whoa, Trace, you got me on this one. Um, I would have to say, uh, if only, if I had to look good for a date, but only could use three products to do so, what would they be? My BB cream? A concealer face powder that's it so that was the be confident or beware beauty tag thank you guys so, so much for watching I hope that these questions and answers weren't really too personal for you guys but thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later in my next video